What's up? F words and R words of all types. Today we're doing a quick, basically, form rundown on the medieval bassinet. As you can see, it's got that sugar loaf. That's a pretty antiquated term. We call it the sugar loaf, which is that sort of oblong, pointy shape of the top. And uh, here, I'm just drawing kind of like a basic flat visor. These helmets, uh, just like m anything in the medieval age, were not mass produced. They were not uniform. So many different types of visors and shapes and constructions um, were available. Just depended on, you know, your armor, your preferences, how much money you had, whatever, whatever. Um, so here you can see the hinge swivels, you know, vertically up and down, pretty basic. And next I'm going to get into the coolest, in my opinion, style of visor that you, we would see in the medieval period. And it's called the hound skull and it's got that pointy nose on it. I just think that looks so medieval and so cool. And I'll do another uh, different type of a hinge that you'll see here coming up. Um, yeah, so like you, as you can see, that bassinet helmet, you can put different visors on it and really change the whole look of it. Um, but that was a pretty ubiquitous, pretty standard style of helmet. And then they would just kind of have different visors. They, they range, there's all different kinds. Um, and then here you can see the different hinge. Um, it's more like a door, opens and opens up to the side. Um, that was also a pretty common uh, setup, configuration, I should say. That's the word I'm looking for. And next I'll go into just a little bit more of the interior sort of how it was constructed you'll you'll have seen these holes across the sides and the bottom those are essentially to stitch the aventail uh, or a coif type of thing made out of mail or chain mail to the inside of the helmet which of course protects the face the neck the jaw and some of the shoulders and then on the inside there you can see up, up top there's the a liner which would essentially suspend the head inside of the helmet giving it an air gap so even if you did get bonked on the head with a mace or a halberd or something um, you're not gonna be banging your dome directly against the metal and here's just enclosing him with his nice little hound skull visor looking oh so medieval as fuck now as these as these videos progress, I'm going to get more into rendering and like how to actually draw these like fully. But the first series is just pretty much going to be um, what they look like, the shapes, how they're constructed. So you can get a basic idea of how to draw them. Hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to doing more. See you next time. Deuce.